Not many African countries have leaders who are very young at the moment. But this is not to say the continent hasn't had its fair share of very young leaders in the past. On this countdown we bring you the top 10 youngest African presidents of all time. At number 10 is Marion Gwabi. Born on the 31st of December 1938, soldier Marion Gwabi rose to power after he was arrested on the 29th of July 1968 by the president of the Congo Republic, Alphonse Massambodibat. On 31st of July, he was freed by soldiers, and by August 5th the National Revolutionary Council headed by him, was created. Following the resignation of the president, the country's prime minister became the acting head of state. On December 31, 1968, the CNR officially became the country's highest authority. With 30-year-old Nguabi as head of the CNR, he automatically became the country's president. He ruled the country until March 18, 1977, when he was assassinated by an alleged suicide commando. At number 9 is John Baptiste Bagaza. In November 1976, 30 year old Lieutenant Colonel and Deputy Chief of Army Staff John Baptiste Bagaza led a coup in Burundi which ousted Michel Mekombero and became the president. He contested in 1984 and won by a very large margin. Part of the things that marked his administration was a heavy infrastructural change in the country. He built roads, provided electricity, water, and other things for his people. Another thing he was never forgotten for, was the radical persecution of the Catholic Church in the country. Bogazé was overthrown in September 1987 while attending a conference of French-speaking nations in Quebec. At number 8 is David Daco. At the age of 30, David Daco became the first president of the Central African Republic in August 1960. This was after the country got her independence. He was first made a provisional president before later becoming the president. He amended the country's constitution to allow for a one-party system and seven-year tenure. With this, he was able to win the 1964 elections which he ran alone. By 1965, his people had lost faith in him and he was ousted in a successful coup by General Bokasa. But he made it back to power again in 1979. He then contested the 1981 elections and won. However, he was again kicked out of power by September that year following a bloodless coup by General André Klingba. At number 7 is Joseph Kabila. Born June 4, 1971, Joseph Kabila became the President of the Democratic Republic of Congo on January 26, 2001 at the age of 29. He was sworn in as president after the assassination of his father Laurent Desire Kabila in 2001. In 2006, he contested the country's presidential elections and won. He also got a second term in 2011. His tenure was supposed to have elapsed in 2016, but he refused to organize an election which led to a political crisis that cost the country many lives. To ensure a peaceful transition, the country's opposition parties have agreed to a deal which would see President Joseph Kabila leave office by the end of 2017. At number 6 is Sili Abdoulaye. After the resignation of Muhammad Asufu in 1994, 29-year-old Sili Abdoulaye was brought in to replace him. Before the appointment, Abdoulaye had served as the Minister of Trade, Transport, and Tourism from 1993. Abdoulaye, however, did not spend a long time in power, as in less than six months a call was made for an election as a result of a no-confidence vote. At number 5 is Yaya Jame. The second president of Gambia, Yaya Jame began ruling the country since 1994 after a military coup. Jame was only 29 when he led the coup that toppled Sir Dorda Jawara's government. In September 1996, he was elected president on the flag of the Alliance for Patriotic Reorientation and Construction which he founded. He was re-elected three consecutive times, 2001, 2006 and 2011. In 2016, he contested but lost to Adama Barrow, the candidate of the opposition coalition party. 
Jamma rejected the election result, saying it was marred by irregularities. However, with the intervention of other African countries, Jamma was forced to leave power and go into exile after Barrow was sworn in in neighboring Senegal. At number 4 is Samuel Doe. Master Sergeant Samuel Doe, was 28 year old when he assumed power in Liberia. He seized power after a bloody coup which ended the life and presidency of William Talbot Jr. This also brought an end to the rule by black American settlers and their descendants popularly referred to as, Americo-Liberians. By 1990, Doe had seen the country into a most devastating war which ended his own life in an undignified way. At number 3 is Mormor Gaddafi. Gaddafi was born to poor Bedouin parents in a village near the town of Sayut. He embraced Arab nationalism while schooling in Sabah. He would later enroll at the Royal Military Academy in Benghazi. Colonel Gaddafi became Libya's leader, after he led a group of army revolutionaries to seize power in a military coup on September 1, 1969. He was age 27. After he seized power, he proclaimed Libya a republic, ejected Western colonialists and strengthened ties with other Arab nationalist governments. After staying in power for over 40 years, Gaddafi was captured in a Libyan uprising and killed on 20 October 2011. At number 2 is Michel Mekombero. Michel Mekombero became the first president of Burundi at the age of 26. He began his rise to power when he became the head of the country's military at the age of 23. In 1966, the country witnessed two coups, and the second which was in November 1966 abolished the monarchy. A republic was subsequently proclaimed with Mekombero taking over power as the country's first president. In November 1976, he was ousted by Colonel John Baptiste Bagaza, who led a successful coup d'etat that brought himself to power. At number one is Valentine Strasser. Valentine Strasser was few days short of 25 when he overthrew the government of Joseph Seydou Mormor in 1992. This made him the youngest head of state in Africa. His successful coup as a captain saw him become the third president of Sierra Leone. His cabinet was made of lieutenants who were not even up to 30. With hardly any experience or grasp of reality, the president and his team, nicknamed, The Boys, adopted a lavish lifestyle which cost them the trust of the people. After spending close to four years in power, Strasser was kicked out in 1996 through a coup led by his deputy 32-year-old Mardabio. It is worthy of note that former Libyan Prime Minister from 1972 to 1977, Abduz Alam Jalou, was 27 years old when he assumed this office. Born 15 December 1944, Jalou was the Prime Minister of Libya during the government of Muammar Gaddafi. But Gaddafi was the major authority in the country and attracted the most attention. Finally, although King Swati III of Swaziland cannot be referred to as a president, but he holds the title of the youngest African leader ever. Mzwati was 14 year old when his father died. He was subsequently selected by a council of elders as the next king. While he pursued his studies in the UK, his mother served as regent in his place until he turned 18. In April 1986 at age 18, he was crowned King of Swaziland, and head of the country's royal family. His enthronement made him the youngest sovereign monarch in the world at the time of his coronation. Thanks for watching please subscribe before leaving.